Seven of my favorite worlds created in the new buffet world type generation. Hey guys, it's Chad and the latest snapshot, the biggest news was a new way to create worlds using the new buffet world generation type. I've chosen seven of my favorite sort of configurations from this, so let me show them to you now. So here we are inside of Minecraft in the newest snapshot 18W16A, uh, which means that we have uh, the option, if we go over here to move more world options, buffet or buffet or buffet. No, it's buffet, pretty sure. Um, and in this world type, you can choose uh, if the world generator is the overworld, which is like one massive piece of land, or as if it is the end, which is basically islands. It'd be really cool if we could have another option as well. You know what? Just uh, round this all out with every dimension, you know? So you could have a ceiling and a bottom. That'd be cool. You know, just a little tip. Just a little, I'll just, hey, yo, dinner bone. Uh, why, don't, why don't we add another here? Anyway, uh, and then you can choose all these different biomes. You can just add the currently, uh, currently you can only select one of them. Uh, and so you could select uh, just planes and generate it in the end and, and such. So we are going to go through the top seven of these and I've already created them. So let's go ahead and start here. Ooh, let's, uh, let's maybe, maybe you saw them already, but uh, let's start here at the bottom of the list. Uh, this is a ocean biome in the entire overworld so in the overworld uh setting at the top so everything is an ocean and what is really really cool is that even though everything is an ocean it still creates these little islands for you to spawn on and this is a game mode that you can actually get kind of far in i'll be honest because not only do you have the islands but out here and about i think this is uh one right here yeah this is a wooden ship so even if there are no trees that spawn you still have access to wood and uh, also you have access to any of the ores that are uh, underground as well so this is a pretty interesting one uh and could and you look you even have look at this there's even a little uh uh, what should we call it? Uh, a ruin uh, down here, and there might even be a chest around here somewhere. Is that obsidian? Oh yeah, uh, yeah I guess so. Okay. Um, so anyway, cool, cool stuff uh, with this one. That is the ocean biome in the overworld setting. Next is a forest biome in the end setting. So in the end uh, generation, and this looks just crazy. Uh, lots and lots of little uh, floating islands with the forest uh, on top. Uh, some of the really cool things is that there is this water and lava that continues to uh, flow down. It just looks really, really, really crazy. It's like this. I mean, it is. It's it's basically uh, the sky dimension. You know, uh, there was a kind of the sky dimension thrown around uh, back in the old days, and uh, this is basically it, the sky dimension. Uh, down here, you can see that an abandoned mine shaft is being generated uh, as well. So let's see, uh, do you still get uh, chests and stuff? It's so interesting how this generates because it generated without the support structures above it, but it still generated the blocks down below. See, see these support things right here? Yeah, those aren't there, but the but the bottoms are. I. It is so clever and so interesting. Uh, and also, uh, to me, a layman, it uh, it really makes me realize kind of how these are generated, uh, where if there isn't anything, if it, you know, if they generate into a, uh, say, a ravine, of course, we're not going to have support things on top. Uh, so basically, it generates the bottom first and then uh, looks around for anything above it. And if there is something above it, then it generates the support. So uh, some really, really cool stuff uh, there. Next is a mutated jungle in the end. Now, I'll be honest here. I am not sure if there's a difference between mutated jungle and normal jungle, uh, but this reminds me a lot of Avatar. I'll be honest. Uh, they have these crazy little uh, like floaty uh, area that uh, had tons and tons of uh, vegetation on them. Uh, that, that's what this reminds me here. Uh, you have these crazy jungles that uh, are on top of the, look at this, whoa, what an overhang, oh my gosh, it's quite an overhang, uh, these crazy jungles, just, I mean, so dense, incredibly dense, I mean, it's like, you can't, you barely get from one side to the other without needing to make sure to put down blocks or something, I mean, like, this is the densest jungle I've ever seen, it's crazy in here, uh, and then on top of that, you have these crazy islands, 
and then back where I was was a really interesting thing because you had the uh, you also had the abandoned mine shafts uh, down here, but these were actually going into the floating island just a bit, which I thought was really cool, and it was almost reminiscent of like an ancient civilization that decided to build that stuff in there and uh, looks kind of like lived in and uh, see like look at that I mean that just looks so cool it really does look like there's some people who uh, lived in there some aboriginal people and they you know just decided to to build some stuff out there make some some walkways real really cool uh really really cool stuff there next is kind of a twofer uh i did the end so the biome is the end in the generation of the overworld and it created this and this is way it's all there's not a single different type of block everything is the same um i haven't used an x-ray or anything to see if there's any ores in here but i'm pretty positive that there is no ores uh and there's also no caves as well so you go under here and this is it what the heck is this what is this are you a treasure chest what are you your block you're an empty block what there's a glitch in the matrix i'm not sure what that thing is um but yeah the other crazy thing is the sky is black how crazy is that uh that's just freaky uh we don't have a blue sky we have a black sky i mean that is just that is just creepy and crazy uh and then i also went ahead and generated a different thing which was very very similar which is the void uh, I was wondering what the void was and what it would generate, and it looks exactly the same as the end, except that it has a blue sky, and once again, there is nothing under here. Uh, I wonder if that uh, weird weird ghost block is down there. I don't see any uh, down here, um, but it's exactly the same. It looks like uh, very similar, at least uh, to my eye, uh, except that the sky is blue. So this is the void using overworld generation. Uh, that's kind of a two for one right there. Next is ice plains spikes in the end, or it's not really in the end. It's in the overworld, but using the end generation to create these crazy islands and uh, I just loved this. I mean, I just thought this looks so dynamic. You have the islands, and I'll, I'll be honest, the islands are all a little bit flat. You can kind of see that they all kind of stop at one spot. Uh, and so uh, when you're actually standing on the islands, it kind of, especially in, in other type of generations, I was doing some generations with like deserts and stuff, uh, they seem kind of flat, uh, I'll be honest. And so adding these ice spikes really adds a nice dynamic to it to kind of add some height uh, to the rest. And same thing with the jungle biome. That's why I like the mutated, uh, the mutated uh, jungle biome so much is because it it really adds even extra dimension to these floating island pieces, which is really cool. By the way, if you're wondering what that happens, if you get right below uh, uh, 64, your your base down there turns to, to be black uh, as you're going underneath the, uh, the normal uh, world height. So... Uh, anyway, uh, I just thought this was another a really cool look. Ice spikes in the end. Second to last is the Mesa with the end generation as well. So floating islands, but with this Mesa. And I really like the color shows through a lot and really looks good in this type of generation because you can see, I mean, just the color. Uh, also, Mesa biomes have a lot more. Uh, well, I thought those were abandoned mine shafts. Um, but they do have abandoned mine shafts and gold, you know, they, they generate more go gold and that sort of stuff. Um, so I was thinking that I would see some abandoned mine shafts around here, uh, as well. Uh, but, uh, they just look really, really good. They remind you, me of like hoodoos, uh, which is like a, a different type of, uh, Mesa type thing. Um, now this, I have, I tried in a few different type of Mesa variants because there's the Mesa, there's the Mesa plateau, the Mesa plateau forest. Um, and I ended up liking this one the best which is just plain old mesa in the uh end generation look you can even get squids you can go fishing this world this world you can have everything in it except for wood you can't i mean you can get some sticks i guess maybe and some some gold seems some gold around anyway uh really like this so let's move on to the last world this is the last world it is a frozen desert Actually, that's not a real biome. So make your guesses now what you think that this biome is. It looks like snow 
but really everything is sand underneath. I liked this uh, generation because I thought that it most resembled another world. Like this just, the further and further you go, the more this just looks like some alien landscape where you got sand, you know, you got regolith, and it's all covered with this fine dust, which is basically snow. And then you have these crazy structures every once in a while. In fact, the structure might give away what this biome is. Uh, this is a frozen beach biome. Frozen beach biome in the overworld, which is, I really, I don't know why I like this one so much, but I just love it. You got these, you got, you know, your structures every once in a while. You have lots of ice and sand and snow. It just feels like all these things that really shouldn't mix that come together really, really, really well. And you even have some, uh, some weird plants, you know, growing every once in a while. Uh, really, really neat. Whoa, look at this. There's a the crater. I have found a crater. Maybe there's a meteor underneath here. Um, or maybe this was where a space worm lived. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is probably one of my favorites. Uh, very unique, and I haven't seen anyone else kind of show this one off before. So, the uh, frozen beach on the overworld setting. <gasps> Comment down below and let me know your favorite out of my list. And also, if there's one that I didn't mention, let me know which ones I should try out in the future. Thank you so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a like, that big old thumbs up button, hit it right now. And also subscribe for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. Thanks so much for watching once again. See you next time, bye.